much effort. In a word, I'm out. Yes, this is the, this is the what's episode 4, and I know the video is kind of late, but I was trying to watch this episode, and you know what? As I would watch again, I would rather watch some other more interesting stuff, like, uh, you know, the paint drop. So I took a brush, fresh paint, I painted a part of the wall right behind my screen, and I was watching the episode along with the paint drying, and it was kind of a fun experience. I may have missed some details, though. So what happens in episode 4? I guess the surrounders have already realized that uh, by this point, people would rather stop watching every week and say, oh, I'll, be, I'll binge watch it when it's done. So they don't bother uh, setting up the episode, they just a little after episode 3 finished. And um, we have both the Wards and Carcer uh, searching for the magic sword that will, will control the dragon. The Wards goes into a tavern where they're ambushed by goblins and they're saved by a goblin that they showed kindness to. And there is also an Igor, which is uh, called Igor. And, you know, Igors are a race in this world. While Carcer follows the clues to an old people home, and there is a human there, Jocasta, who was the last to have possession of a sword, and he's looking at some pictures in the world because he remembers nothing, and finds out that the sword is um, buried with her assassin girlfriend. Break out the L word. Lesbian? The other L word. Lesbians. So he goes and takes the sword, but he realizes that it's it's uh, just a blade. The hilt is wrong. Uh, meanwhile, the wards takes a tip and they go to the old people home, and their vibes meets a sergeant who used to be with him in the wards, and he's in the old people home. And they realize that uh, the hilt is there, so they take the hilt. Carcer uh, breaks the party. There are some shenanigans with goblins, like, yep, there is a side plot with a love triangle of goblins. And yes, that you just saw this uh, children's puppet show kissing. Yes, it sucks. And then, of course, we have a big melee, and as they fight, a magical alert hits, and everybody's magically dancing together. Um, the words takes. The hilt, thanks of course to Lady Sybil Ramkin, who is a kick-ass and a strong female woman of color, of course, because yes, she has to be great at everything, she even steals uh, the thunder out of one of the most famous uh, Discworld quotes ever. The Captain Sam Vimes boots theory on socioeconomic unfairness. It just downgrades the character of uh, Vimes once more. He's a goofy drunkard instead of the very smart and cynical counterpoint to Carrot. Uh, there is a scene where when death at the end of the episode, uh, the words manage to reconnect the sword and they take Jocasta to uh, the Ancien University and with the help of the librarian they're able to restore her memories and explain that yes there is a talking magic sword and love is the power that moves everything and of course we have the um, romances emerging we have Carrot falling for Angua and we have Vimes falling for Lady Sibyl who had this one in the previous episode too and uh, uh, finally we've got Carcer, who is meeting with the observers and they are, he, he's told that you should destroy the worlds before they regain hope and then the power of imagination will take over this parallel dimension. Which is kind of stupid because there is no imagination in this writing team. A mass up of plot lines from different uh, Discworld episodes, Discworld of different Discworld books. Uh, nothing matters. This show is um, mostly dull with little bits of funny. They manage to ruin some of the best jokes. They are based on some of the funniest books in the world. And they just have to take to tinker around with established the popular jokes that everybody would get and it falls apart and what they can add is some zaniness the paint dry was great uh, 10 out of 10 this episode was not thank you for watching and uh,
please, I was the same shot for you. I tried my best to give a summary. I even uh, went back and rewatched the parts where my attention drifted away for you. So please, press the like button, subscribe, I deserve that. I'm a hero. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs>